Welcome to a world shrouded in mystery and terror where myths and reality blur and the restless souls of the supernatural roam. Today, we delve into the enigmatic realm of the Kuntalanak, a captivating creature with a chilling reputation. But before we unveil her secrets, let's begin with her namesake. In the land of Indonesia, she is known as the Kuntalanak, a name that sends shivers down the spines of many. But cross the borders into Malaysia and Singapore, and she transforms into the equally menacing Pontianak. Yet, this eerie entity also finds her roots in Hinduism, where she's referred to as Yakshiai. The Kuntalanak is no ordinary ghost. She lures in unsuspecting victims by taking on the form of a breathtakingly beautiful woman with long, dark hair and blood-smeared white attire. Her eyes burn red, and her intentions are far from innocent. Beware her charming facade, for she is anything but ordinary. The Kuntalanak is a creature of the night, appearing only under the full moon's watchful gaze. She announces her sinister presence with the cries of infants or eerie, feminine laughter. But there's more to her calling card. Some say if the sounds are soft, she's close by. If they're loud, she's lurking from afar. To know when the Kuntalanak is near, trust your senses. When a floral fragrance fills the air, reminiscent of the plumeria flower, fear her presence. A few moments later, brace yourself for a vile stench similar to that of a decaying corpse. It's a warning you dare not ignore. When the Kuntalanak captures her prey, her monstrous nature emerges. She can change from the beautiful maiden to a monstrous, bloodthirsty beast akin to the infamous Dracula. Her hunger is unquenchable and she feeds on the most gruesome of desires, often tearing out her victim's organs. The Kuntalanak has an eerie association with banana trees. During the day, her spirit is believed to reside in these trees, hiding from the sun's harsh light. But when night falls, she's unleashed to terrorize the world. As an aspiring mythology hunters, you might be wondering, how do we hunt a Kuntalanak? Hunting a Kuntalanak can be an incredibly challenging and risky endeavor. As per folklore, it is said that inserting a nail or a sharp object into the nape of a Kuntalanak can render her powerless. The belief is that the Kuntalanak, capable of transforming into a beautiful woman, reverts to her monstrous form when impaled by a nail. While it may be tempting to create makeshift weapons like nail guns or wooden spears, it's important to emphasize that hunting a Kuntalanak is not a good idea. Even with a group, it remains a formidable and dangerous challenge. Attempting to harm such a malevolent spirit is not advisable. Instead, it's better to focus on avoiding and protecting yourself if you ever encounter one. Here are some tips on how to stay safe and protected. Number one, some people believe in the power of protective talismans, amulets, or charms often known as azimat or antiing antiing. These items are thought to have supernatural qualities that can shield individuals from malevolent spirits, including the Kuntalanic. Carrying or wearing such items is believed to provide protection. Number two, holy water and religious items such as blessed objects or symbols from one's faith are often used for protection against supernatural entities. Sprinkling or spraying holy water in your surroundings and keeping religious artifacts close can help ward off spirits. Number three, having a religious leader or spiritual guide perform a house blessing or purification ritual can help protect your home from negative energies, including the Kuntalanic. Number four, avoidance. One of the simplest ways to defend against the Kuntalanic is to avoid places and situations where she is said to be active. If you know a particular area is associated with her presence, it's best to stay away to minimize the risk of encountering her. Number five, if you're in an area believed to be haunted by the Kuntalanic, staying in a group can provide a sense of safety. Spirits are less likely to approach or harm people when they are not alone. And remember, avoid the classic horror movie mistake of splitting up. That's how movie characters end up in dire situations. Stop it. Get some help. Number six. Respecting local traditions and beliefs can go a long way in preventing negative encounters with supernatural entities. This includes refraining from disturbing graves or ancient sites that might be associated with the Kuntalanic. It's crucial to emphasize that these methods are rooted in cultural beliefs and should not be considered as reliable means of self-defense. 
If you ever find yourself in a situation where you encounter this malevolent creature, the wisest course of action is to promptly seek assistance from local authorities or a trusted individual who can provide support and guidance. Your safety should always be the top priority. These methods should only be a last resort when no other options are available. As we conclude our journey into the mysterious world of the Kuntalanak, one thing remains clear, she is more than a myth, she's a part of a rich and haunting folklore that continues to captivate and terrify those who dare to explore her chilling presence. I hope you've enjoyed this thrilling adventure. Stay curious and keep hunting for knowledge, my fellow mythology hunters.